Fannie Lou Hamer lived from 1917 to 1977. She was an American voting rights activist, civil rights leader, and philanthropist. Fannie was born in Mississippi, the youngest of 20 children. She worked on a plantation picking cotton starting at the age of six. Fannie was lucky to attend school for six years where she did learn to read and write. She stayed a sharecropper on that plantation for over 35 years. In the mid-1950s, Miss Hamer got involved in the civil rights group, the RNCL, or the Regional Council of Negro Leadership in Mississippi. She was very active on getting the word out to others of how important it was for African Americans to exercise their right to vote and to educate them on other civil rights. In 1962, Ms. Hamer attended a sermon by Reverend James Bevel, an associate of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This sermon further encouraged Fanny to travel throughout the South doing activism work. One time, Ms. Hamer endured a savage beating while jailed for working in a literacy workshop aimed to educate other African Americans. Mrs. Hamer did run for Congress in both 1964 and 1965, however, she failed to win. She continued on other projects such as beginning the Head Start program and Dr. King's Poor People's Campaign. Ms. Hamer died in 1977 at the age of 59. Her tombstone is engraved with one of her famous quotes, I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. Good day, Stillman. You're watching the Wednesday, February 15th edition of the SNN News with me, Angel, and my friends. Attention students who audition for the spring play, The Laramie Project. The cast is posted outside of room 293. Please stop by and initial next to your name if you are accepting your roles. And the first rehearsal will be at 3.30 p.m. in the Old Cafeteria on Tuesday, February 21st. And there will be a meeting for anyone interested in set crew, lights, or sound crew for this year's contest play and group interpretation on Monday, February 27th at 3.30 p.m. in room 293. Central's award-winning tech crew has received the Award of Excellence for seven years in a row. See Mr. Hoyt with any questions or if you are unable to attend but interested in participating. Seniors, anyone who ordered a senior panoramic picture can stop by room 278 and pick it up now. There are extras available for those who didn't place an order. And the Human Relations Club will meet this Friday in room 337 to discuss and plan for the African American Read-In. We need readers for their event, so come with something you'd like to share. As always, new members are always welcome. Steelman, this year's Black and White Dance will be held on Saturday, February 25th. The cost of the dance is still only $5. Ticket sales will begin today. Please make sure to clear all obligations. Guest forms are available in the principal's office. Any questions, please see Mr. Seeper in room 351. Are you interested in getting your work published in the JTC Journal Literary Magazine? Send original art, poems, photography, writings, etc. to the jtc.journal at gmail.com or see Mr. Martz in room 275 for more details. Are you interested in a career in cosmetology? Come check out Professionals Choice at their open house on February 18th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. This is a JT course option for seniors, but all students are welcome to attend the open house to get more information and plan for their future career. And don't forget to please join us at the third annual African American Read-In, February 23rd at Joliet Central from 6 to 8 p.m. Congratulations to the following student who is this week's Reading Counts winner. This week's weekly winner is Cynthia Vias Leon from Dr. Bauer's class. Cynthia received prizes and a book. Steelman, you, can, you too can be a winner. Just complete a raffle ticket every time you pass a reading counts test with a score of at least 70% or better. Freshmen, sophomores, others, have no fear, be brave. Now that many winter sports are finished, it's time to go out for track. Track isn't just running. There are sprints, distance, jumps, and throws. Make your body and mind stronger. Dump your useless mind-numbing video games. Do something with your lives. Be a part of a winning program. Boys, track and field. Meet in the field house at, daily at 3.30 p.m. Be a part of track. Track equals athleticas. Okay, Sarah, what's for lunch? Today's lunch is Sloppy Joe sandwich, cheese pizza, spicy breaded chicken sandwich, veggie burger, ham deli sandwich, Chef salad with boiled eggs, cheese crackers, and breadstick. 
Bosco cheddar cheese, stuffed pretzel with cheese, and your choice up to four half cup servings of mashed potatoes, corn, marinara, or salsa, sliced tomato, lettuce, and pickle, grape juice, variety of fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. Thursday's breakfast is breakfast burrito, 100% fruit juice, and your choice of up to two half cup servings of fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. Thursday's lunch is hot ham and cheese sandwich, sausage pizza, Cheesy grilled chicken sandwich, cheeseburger, turkey deli sandwich, chef salad with chicken, cheese, crackers, and breadstick. A beef hot dog with chips and your choice of up to four half cup servings of cherry tomatoes with dip, romaine salad with dressing, marinara or salsa, sliced tomato, lettuce and pickle, diced peaches, variety of fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. Now that's all for today's Sealman. Thanks for watching and have a great day.